Hello everyone, today I am going to create these columns of Alvarado Palace by designed by the Brazilian architect Oscar Niemeyer. But before we start, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open a new architectural template file. In the Messing and Site tab, click on In Place Mask, click OK. Then go to the South Elevation and let's place some reference planes according to the dimensions and according to the dimensions of these columns. So for now, I am going to uh, take these dimensions as hypothetical, being 30 feet in width and 50 feet in height. After placing these three reference planes, uh, place a reference plane in the level 1 floor plan and assign a name to it. I am going to name it A, then go to south elevation and set the reference plane to A and place point elements. Make sure draw on work plane is selected and then place three points on these reference planes as shown, three on each side making a total of six then place uh, one more reference plane at the center and again place these three point elements on it then go to 3d view and in here select this point and this one then go to the level 2 floor plan and select the move command and move these points 2 feet 6 inches from their position. Then go to the 3D view again and select these 3 central points. You can also select them from this south elevation. Then go to the level 2 floor plan or you can also go to the level 1 and move them 2 feet six inches towards the other side then select this central point and move it a little bit towards here so according to the design and dimensions you can adjust these point elements after that select the model line make sure 3d snapping is checked and draw on face is selected and then connect these three points then these three points and also these three then select all three of them make sure uh, uh, for multiple selection use control button on keyboard and click on create form so now we have the basic form of the column design after that go to the south elevation and set the reference plane to a and here i am going to draw make sure 3D snapping is not checked and draw on work plane is selected and then I am going to draw the profile for the void extrusion as you can see in the video. and make sure that this is a closed loop then again i'm going to draw an other a profile for the void extrusion for the lower part of the column as you can see and again make sure that this is a closed loop now select uh, both of these loops and make them reference lines as shown then select this one and from here click on void forms click here then go to 3D and you can see that it is extruded towards one side only. Give a negative offset to extrude towards, uh, towards the other side as well. Now repeat this process, repeat this step for the this lower part of the column as well. 
and now you can see the openings have been created within the column according to the design so now we have the basic mass form for the column design and it kind of looks like this now exit the mass mode and ignore the error then go to the south elevation select this mass and create multiple copies of it and join them so for now they have to, do not have any thickness to assign thickness to them i am going to use this wall by face command and then assign wall material to this mass and use the join command to join these walls so that they do not overlap so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe